Welcome to Margate, the original seaside town, and these days considered fabulous, as well as... Margate, it's so retro, it's so get I mean, it's hip. It's super hip. Margate and planet as a whole has always been um, home of creativity. I think of Margate as tourism and fun. What I've found since I've moved down to Margate is that it's been a melting pot of creativity and creative endeavour. But that's a bit cheesy for my liking. That being said, it is impossible to walk around the town without seeing some DFLs. That's down from London's. Oh, those guys are just so creative, so good for Margate, yeah? That's, That's what, what we were just saying. saying. Oh, is that an artist? Oh, here's another. Oh, and another, please, Carol. A couple of retro cars. A food serving double decker. Well, two, actually. <laughs> Typical. As well as a feast of galleries and an artist culture which is extremely friendly and all inclusive. Look, mate. If your name's not Dan, you're not coming in. The town is brimming with new restaurants, shisha bars, micro pubs, coffee shops, some with flashy signs, junkyards, vintage shops, indoor markets, vinyl shops. One of the world's best, to be precise. We even have a place where you can buy vinyls, drink coffee, and practice yoga all under one roof. Thank God for those DFLs, eh? However, shisha lounges, big red food serving buses, vegan treats, and gifted Germans Ooh. are not the only new addition to be washed upon our shore. I'm talking, of course, of the marvellous Margate Mercury. Margate Mercury. Margate Mercury. And with a response like that, I thought it'd be best to sit down with the masterminds behind the Mercury at the core of its creation, Resort Studios. Yeah. Hello. Edit, edit. Yeah. Hello! I had the idea for the Margate Mercury because uh, I was living in London working as a freelance copywriter and I certainly noticed there was a massive buzz about Margate. Everyone was talking about it, everyone I spoke to was thinking about moving there maybe. I think it's George it's on say. <laughs> I was moving to Margate uh, so it seemed like there was a gap in the market for a new kind of publication for Margate that was kind of really well designed. Mm -hmm. And then I contacted Lizzie because I found her at Resort. I think the design's really good. Yeah. I, th I think that it's very clean design. It's very easy layout to read. It's great because there wasn't really anywhere in town that sort of put all the events together and like let everyone know what's going on. Getting the information from the horse's mouth and then feeding that back through the pages to the many readers of the Margate Mercury. That really inspired the magazine because, you know, it's a place to bring all those things together mm. in one place Absolutely. and showcase Margate at its best. Yes. Margate's best. That's Margate's best. Ah, oh, Harry. So, fueled with Margate's best, I took to the friendly streets of Margate with my inappropriate microphone to get the local view. Piss off. Look, read it recently. The Margate Mercury. I, ha I haven't read this. Have you not? Uh, no. So you haven't got an opinion on it. What did you think of the Margate Mercury on first glance? I... While we wait for that helmet, I suppose it's over to Mr Margate, Retro Joe. What's your opinion of uh, the Margate Mercury? Have you read it and when did you read it? I went round through when I was sitting in your shop as it goes and uh, yeah, it's what Margate needs, I think. I thought it was very well laid out. Yeah, I thought it was good. It served a purpose. Oh, we absolutely love the Margate Mercury. All of our clients do. We've had uh, loads go off our shelves. Everybody's asking about it. I think that there's enough going on in Margate for it to have its own sort of kind of Margate-centric. That's a word, right? I agree. There's enough. Well, there's businesses opening constantly, so it's good to have someone that's specifically feeding that information back to people. Getting the information from the horse's mouth and then feeding that back through the pages to the many readers of the Margate Mercury. Showing sort of more market, Margate, isn't it? And I think the people that are involved in it Margate Mercury. have their finger on the pulse and they've got the true flavour of Margate. Pucker, pucker, pucker. I love the Mercury. I thought the Mercury was great and it's just what this area needs because it links everybody up. Market Mercury does a fantastic job covering everything local, everything you need to know is there, whether it's where to eat. Uh, I thought it was a great publication actually. Uh, it was a wicked sort of little 
taste of Margate's future. I think it was nice. Uh, it was nice to see it when we when we're setting up our business at the same time. It's sort of it feels like we're doing the right thing. So. <laughs> I thought it was fantastic, it's been really well put together and it's really nice to see a quality product, um, another new product uh, within Margate. I thought it was very good, very informative. I thought it was a really nice publication, yeah. I think it's a uh, nice representation of Margate. It smells really nice. <laughs> I really liked it, I thought it was um, really well written and it covered some really nice, really nice things. Um, I like that it's a community feel, I think, it, I think it's good to see something from our game to bring people and businesses together. It showed me that there's big opportunities here in the game. You know, for the, the team at Margate Mercury have discovered, you know, that these opportunities are far and wide, you know, and one only has to reach out and take them. Tell me to read. Tell me to read. Our favourite uh, aspect is the history that it shows into Margate. What was your favourite thing about it? I liked the sounds there about um, the drugs on the Arm. I did like the North Down Road piece, which is what I did the photography for. But the reason I liked it is because the North Down Road is a bit of a forgotten place. Generally I'm a fiction writer, but it, it all depends where the words take you, I suppose. The feature on North Down Road, I see. Um, just so the sort of up and coming bits, the bits that I didn't actually know about. I know everything there is to know about Margate. Well, the picture, the picture's excellent. <laughs> I, I would recognise you from the picture. <laughs> I, I love the way that they're giving, you know, someone like Dave McKenna, a, a man with, you know, let's, let's not be around the bush, you know, some problems in expressing himself in the written form, uh, a column to, uh, to try and express himself in, in in the written form, and I think it's great that they haven't, you know, they've, they've proofed it. And some, you know, if you look hard enough, there is a story there. there is... It works as a whole, you know, it's not, it's not just like slapped together, it feels like a lot of love went into it. Read it all within the pages, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. In the market,